So we have MCP Manager pulled up, and I want to show you what's possible here. So we have the ability to add a server individually. So in the event that you wanted to enter like Puppeteer, which runs NPX, uh, you could say the, the argument to that's going to take for it to run, which uh, from here you could add environment variables. So if you have like, you know, like API keys or anything that's sensitive, you could put those here. Uh, we're not going to add that because I want to show you how to do an import from JSON. So we're going to go up here and click import from JSON. We're going to paste in our uh, JSON data. We're going to say import. And then you're going to see how it pulled in all of those servers. And in this case for the Twitter MCP, you see how we had API, or excuse me, uh, environment variables. So we have those uh, masked, so they're not visible. But if you want to toggle them, you can see those and you can copy them to your clipboard. Uh, the next feature, which is probably one of the more powerful features, is what I call linked configurations. And a linked configuration is basically your way of saying, hey, there's an application on my machine that uses MCP, and I want to be able to, from MCP Manager, connect to that MCP configuration and update it anytime from MCP Manager. So to kind of show this, we're going to go into... Uh, cursor, and as you see, they have their own uh, MCP JSON file. We're just going to copy that path. We're going to come back to MCP Manager. I'm going to paste it in. We're going to say enable autosync, which means that if we were to deploy from MCP Manager, that it would go to Cursor. Uh, I mean, we can say import servers from configuration, but there's nothing unique being imported that we don't already know about, so you won't see anything uh, different on the page. Well, now that we've done that with Cursor, we're going to go do the same for WinSurf. So we're going to come back. We're going to say WinSurf, enable autosync, import config. And so right now, we, we sort of have everything set up the, the way that we want to. How this is going to work, we're going to go over to Cursor. And we're going to remove these MCP servers. We're going to save that, and you're going to see that cursor is not aware of it. We're going to switch over to WinSurf, and we're going to go do the same. We're going to save it. We're going to refresh the server list. This should go to empty, so we have nothing. So as of right now, all the knowledge about MCP servers that are uh, configured and listed are within MCP Manager. So to get these distributed, we're going to say deploy all. And so now if I switch back to cursor, you're going to see cursor is actually already showing us that they're aware of those servers and they're connected. But as you see, those values are present. If we switch over to WinSurf, you'll see that we have the config file. Now, for them, we'll have to click this refresh button. We are working on a way to be able to do this on your behalf, but we're going to just refresh that list. We should get all green here in a moment. And we do. And just like that, we've managed our MCP server configurations. Uh, I'm working on uh, a feature that's going to allow you to search the web for MCP servers and import them into MCP Manager. And then I'm, we're also going to be soon having a, uh, a client that you can use to test your MCP servers uh, before you even distribute them. That way you know they're going to work before they even get to the tool such as Cursor, WinSurf, Cloud Desktop, whichever. And if you haven't noticed, we have dark mode. And there's the light mode, so in case you you know you like that sort of thing. Uh, I do plan to offer uh, MCP Manager at a price point of $20 a year, um, which is going to save you a lot of headaches in the long run, especially as MCP gains further popularity. If you found value in this demonstration, I encourage you to give me a like, leave me a comment, uh, share it. And looking forward to your feedback and uh, we do plan to at least have a Mac distribution uh, this week. Uh, and then we do plan to have Windows and Linux released as well. So thank you for your time. Have a great rest of your day.